What's up guys, in today's video, with all the buzz about AI generated artwork, uh, this is gonna rain on the parade just a little bit because I'm gonna share with you an article that says that the US Copyright Office rules that AI generated artwork and content is not legally protected. It doesn't receive, receive the same uh, copyright legal protection that other original works created by humans does. At least that's what the headline of the article implies. We are gonna read through the whole thing together, so let's get to it. So this article was published on The Hill. I will link to it in the description. It was published on February 24th, so not that long ago. It is titled, US Copyright Office Rules AI-Generated Artwork Content Not Legally Protected. All right, from uh, Tampa, Tampa, Florida. While anyone can be an artist, writer, or musician, and therefore entitled to copyright protections for their work, content made by artificial intelligence is no longer open to the same legal shields. A decision by the U.S. Copyright Office has ruled against protection of AI copyrighted for generated works, be they art, writing, or music. The decision came in response to a copyright application for a comic called Zarya of the Dawn, which contained original writing but visual art generated by Midjourney, an AI program. If you guys haven't seen the Midjourney art, man, it is crazy, the detail. Um, like, I don't know if it's just the resolution or, I mean, it's not just the resolution, I guess. It is like the detail that that um, AI specifically can go to. Of all the ones that, I'm, that, that I've seen, I'm not going to try to pretend to be the AI expert, but um, I've used uh, quite a few at this point. And yeah, that one has crazy detail. Put simply, content created from AI programs like Midjourney, ChatGPT, OpenAI, Dolly, HotPot, or Night Cafe, among others, will not receive protection from the U.S. government for rights, licensing, or payment. So that means I think that if you see somebody making a bunch of money off some AI generated artwork, you would in theory be able to use the same artwork. Now I'm not saying that anybody should go do that because of course, you know, if you're selling on a platform, you could still just get reported by that original seller, whether or not they're in the right or the wrong. If you've ever been on the receiving end of one of those reports, guys, you already know it doesn't matter because these marketplaces don't care. They don't like hire a legal team to arbitrate between sellers like you and whoever else reported you, right? So I'm just saying. I wouldn't do that, but I think in theory, under the law, it would be allowed. Although you don't know if it's AI generated. So there's also that aspect. Uh, going forward, the US Copyright Office will not allow copyright registrations for generated content. In the letter to Zarya creator Christina Kashtanava, officials said the decision was focused on whether a work was produced through human authorship. Quote, as stated in the compendium of US Copyright Office, practices the office will not register works produced by a machine or mere mechanical intervention from a human author the crucial question is whether the work is basically one of human authorship with the computer or other device merely being an assisting instrument or whether the traditional elements of authorship in the work literary artistic or musical expression or elements of selection arrangement etc were actually conceived and executed not by man but by machine <clears throat> And this is a little bit, again, I'm not going to try to pretend to be the expert, but I'm pretty sure they call it machine learning because it does actually like learn from inputs, right? <laughs> That's why you can go to these text prompts and it spits out all these different options of something similar to what you described. It's because it knows what you described based on data that it learned from. And if it's taking in other people's original work, original photographs, etc., to output something, that may technically be original because it's not a pixel for pixel copy of something, but it's still based on other people's original works. I'm guessing maybe that's why. Um, and then the fact that it's not, you know, created by a human, uh, it's created as a function of, I guess, code that human wrote, humans wrote. <laughs> it gets complicated. Let me know what you think in the, in the comments, by the way. Sorry for interrupting. I wanted to let you know that linked in the description, you can find my free print on demand mini course that is completely new for 2023. If you sign up, it'll help you get your first sale. And down there, you'll find a link to my print on demand Facebook group. I hope you'll join the community. Back to the article, put more bluntly, the Copyright Office said, in cases where non-human authorship is claimed, appellate courts have found that copyright does not protect the alleged creations. Due to Kashtanova's creative process, the text of her comic itself, wholly generated by her as an author, is protected. It's merely the visual content, which was AI created, that is not. Even Kashtanova's claims of direct involvement in the artistic creation from phrase prompt selection to a variety of image editing steps did not qualify the art for copyright protection due to its creation by an AI. 
The Copyright Office reviewed Midjourney, the AI used by Castanova, while analyzing the process. The program's own documentation states that the AI does not actively understand words, sentences, or grammar in the same way as a human. Therefore, it follows a different process for creation. According to the documentation by Midjourney, the program instead turns words and phrases into tokens and then generates an image at the direction of user. Castanova argued in the legal filings that as a result, Midjourney is a tool similar to a paintbrush or a pencil or a hammer and a chisel. The U.S. Copyright Office did not agree with the assessment, saying, quote, the fact that Midjourney's specific output cannot be predicted by users makes Midjourney different for copyright purposes than other tools used by artists, end quote. The lack of human authorship or artistry in this process is void of, quote, original work of authorship fixed in any tangible medium of expression, end quote. The requirement of the Copyright Act for legal protection. In layman's terms, an AI just does not create content as a human would, nor with the originality of one, and therefore generated works are not copyright worthy. Quote, based on the record before it, the office concludes that the images generated by Midjourney contained within the work are not original works of authorship protected by copyright, end quote, the office said. The decision to copyright the text portion of Zarya was hailed by Kashtanova, though the comic author said she would be working to appeal the decision related to copyright of the images in the comic. Quote, I was disappointed in one aspect of the decision. The Copyright Office didn't agree to recognize my copyright of the individual images. I think that they didn't understand some of the technology, so it led to a wrong decision. End quote. Uh, she wrote that on her Instagram. It's fundamental to understand that the output of generative AI model depends directly on the creative input of the artist and is not random. My lawyers are looking at our options to further explain to the Copyright Office how individual images produced by Midjourney are direct expression of my creativity and therefore copyrightable. So I went ahead and just Googled the definition of copyright for everybody to see why this is so significant. All right, so copyright is the exclusive legal right given to an originator or an assignee to print, publish, perform, film, or record literary, artistic, or musical material and to authorize others to do the same. So you can see why this is a big deal. Uh, you would, I guess, as a seller, uh, as somebody who's monetizing these AI-generated works, you would definitely love the ability to hold copyright over them so that you don't you know, launch some really successful comic book in this case or T-shirt or whatever, wall art. I don't know. What, what are we using AI for these days? Kind KDP? Book cover? Maybe book interior? Uh, you don't start monetizing it, making good money, and then face a whole lot of competition because you don't hold the copyright protections assigned to original works that are not considered original in this case because it was generated by a generative AI. Uh, I mean, obviously, guys, this is going to get... <laughs> It's going to get a little uh, interesting because this is not a uh, best kept secret anymore. AI is one of those things that's, you know, trendy. It's buzz. It's a big buzzword now. And all these tools are so easily accessible because of the simple like text prompt to generate, you know, not only images, um, video, lots of things. So, yeah, I mean, this is probably not going to go away. It wouldn't surprise me if I'm making a new video a month from now with an update on this story. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, though. I'd love to hear from you. What do you think? Does this worry you? Were you planning on using AI, you know, for your e-commerce business? If so, you want to share how? That'd be interesting to know. Uh, anyways, look forward to hearing from you guys. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you tomorrow with a new video.